we're here today to see if you can beat Fallout New Vegas as President Dwayne Elizondo Mountain Dew Camacho. <laughs> Next stop, if you've never seen the movie Idiocracy, I suggest watching it. It's a it's a fun little watch, especially around the election season. So we're gonna start off here with in the movie he's known as being a five-time wrestling champion or something. So we're going to focus on hand-to-hand -hand for the most of this here. So we head on over to the schoolhouse to deal with some of the bugs here. Fairly easy, quick experience. I didn't take the Sunny Smiles quest or anything like that. Make our way out of Good Springs through the... Pass by the monument, hit up Hidden Valley, because we're going to have to come back here later anyway. So that we can head through Murder Pass by Black Mountain to... Head straight to New Vegas. I get sidetracked beating the fuck out of some bark scorpions. Uh, these things actually hit fairly hard for being level 1. Well, we're level 1. They're whatever the game says they are. The effect for the poison, I don't know if it stacks, but it... It's a little out there when you got multiple of them attacking you all at the same time. So we deal with the bark scorpions there and take some anti venom. Can barely even see the fucking pick boy at this point. Now way that subsides. Head toward murder pass there, past Neil's shack. Thought for a minute of uh, fist fighting some super mutants. We don't really have the damage output right now for that. Might come back to it later if I can remember. Head toward the gun runners, and there's always just some uh, Van Graaff power armor, some leather armor, and some energy weapons sitting here by this uh, destroyed caravan. It's supposed to come here as part of uh, Cass's companion quest. Beyond that, it's some good money to spend at the gun runners right off the bat. Each one's worth like, I don't know, between a 700 caps and a thousand. So, right there, you can usually cover uh, the amount to get into the strip. Hit up the medical clinic before hitting up the gun runners. Welcome, sir, or Reverse of how I usually do it. Doesn't really matter. Welcome Stop there, the sell New off Vegas. a bunch of shit. Head on over to Dr. Usanagi at the medical clinic to, uh... Uh, no. Implants, not plants. They're little machines I can put inside you to make you faster, quicker, or smarter. I recommend the smarter implant. Get a dialogue I've never heard before in the game because we're so stupid. Intelligence is at a, I think a two, because he's a little smarter than most of the people in his uh, world. And let's call it that. Uh, the face for the character is an abomination, but then again, most of uh, Bethesda's character creators are just bad. As we make our way toward the tops. Victor stops us here on this side. I don't know why he didn't approach us when we went past the Lucky 38. Now, my original idea here was to head into the tops, keep our holdout weapons, which are, I think we're using some spike knuckles at this point, get close enough to Benny to proc the two level ups we get. Then I figured, okay, I'll toss down a quick save, I'll try to take them all out, and then I'll... You know, most likely reload, go get some levels, come back and try again later. To my surprise, with the spike knuckles and the few levels I collected along the way here, uh, maxed out my unarmed, with the spike knuckles, you can decimate most of the people here. Again, they wear suits, so it's not like you having to deal with armor. Most use fairly slow shooting ranged weapons, except for the, uh, 22 SMG there. And we were able to take them out. A couple more here and there left around, and they knock the camera off sometimes. Uh, the stagger also gets me a few times. Not too bad, though. Two, maybe three punches takes each of them out, which is pretty good. Was that, there we go. I think Swank is the one that took the most punches to deal with. Done. Dealt with. You so we go to talk to House. Give him back his platinum chip. 
in the movie, if you've seen it, you know that dear President Camacho here goes out of his way to find the smartest man alive to fix all of his problems. And all the problems for all the people there. In this situation, that's going to be House. So we're going to be doing House's questline. Faction. While doing that, on the way to the fort, I figure, hey, I'll get some uh, levels here by doing a quick few easy missions. Take out the ants here, head down to uh, Nipton, meet the Legion, head back. On the way to Nipton, I get sidetracked killing these uh, jackal gang members. Easy, fun enough to deal with. Bunch of stuff to loot from them. Then I head to Nipton, forgetting all about the whole don't piss off the Legion thing. And I go in swinging. Again, we have Gabe, or whatever the fuck the dude's name is. Because the guy that shows up to give you the mark of Caesar when you come out of the tops is the guy that you meet here. Even though if you kill the guy here, I th still think it's the same guy there. But if you kill him after he comes out of the tops, well, after you come out of the tops, yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. At this point, I decide we should probably go get the second weapon of our run. And I know one can be found here in the quarry, so... We gotta go in and fist fight some death balls for them. They can stagger us fairly well, but by this point in time, we have... I think, uh... I think it's like Paralyzing Palm. The one that knocks him down. And... I do believe we have the perk that allows us to bypass some armor. We're wearing a Centauri instead of armor here because I thought, you know, might save us a little damage against the Death Claws. It does for some of it, but we get completely destroyed by the Mother Death Claw more than a few times. So I eventually give up on this and decide to go and. Get a bunch of stim packs from Dr. Usanagi and come back. When I come back, the Mother Death Claw is on the other side of the quarry, so I figure, hey, I'm just going to run and go get my gun. The light machine gun. The ammo that's here, I've also been buying ammo along the way. And I'm just going to sit up there and I'm going to plink. Plink at her and plink at the uh, Alpha Death Claw there. Because after all, one of the most iconic scenes in the movie is him coming out waving around a fucking LMG and shooting around at the House of Representatives and shit there. Or the House of Representing, whatever they want to call it in the movie. I'm not going to use this much. Because he only uses it in like one scene. But, you know, I figured put it to use here. I don't need to worry too much about it. I spend an almost ungodly amount of time dealing with those death balls from a distance just to get completely destroyed and have to restart this from the beginning again. So I spend even more time shooting at them with my ammo, with my surplus ammo, and it is time consuming, to say the least, it's pretty much non-stop fire with this thing, and that surplus ammo eats through the condition of this gun like no tomorrow. Take out the last couple of uh, Deathclaw babies, and then... Deathclaw, there's one more that comes running up from out the water here in a second. There it is. Take that one out. We're golden. So here that I was looking around that I found that uh, there's a mini nuke. A fat man. Here, and there was a mini nuke over in the thing, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll just shoot it off here. An American pastime, if you will. Which, funnily enough, the fat man is actually based off of a uh, actual weapon we made. In celebration, we drink a couple of Nuka-Colas. And it makes me wonder, since Nuka-Cola is supposed to be like the Coca-Cola of Fallout universe, does that make, like, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla and the like, like the Pepsi of it? And furthermore, since Coca-Cola and Nuka-Cola are supposed to be like the same thing, even the same, like, design for the labels and whatnot, whilst Mountain Dew is a Pepsi product, and Pepsi Cola. Product. 
Uh, could we almost classify Nuka-Cola Quantum, while well, yes, it'd be a Coca-Cola thing, as being like the closest thing to Mountain Dew there is? Because I also have different variations of it, like, uh, I think it's Nuka-Cola Victory, which is like orange, kind of like Live Wire Mountain Dew would be. And then smart, uh, sparkling and whatnot, and crystal and all that, which that's of course a riff on crystal coke. It just makes you wonder if like quantum is supposed to be close to Mountain Dew, some way, shape, or form. Head to Cottonwood Cove, and since the Legion hates me, I just fight them all because why not? Uh, he said we couldn't kill Caesar. Not that we couldn't completely destroy the legion on our way there and we'll stick to our word too we're not gonna kill caesar well for now head on in deal with them they're easy enough uh, again their armor really isn't anything especially with our perk that allows us to bypass a bunch of armor i think 15 dt head into the fort proper head in swinging easy enough to deal with them. Most of the ones at the gates, you figure you'd want the gate guards the most heavily armed to keep people out instead of just giving them fucking jagged pieces of metal on pipes. Might just be me thinking. I don't know. Even the named ones go down fairly quickly. Dogs go down in one punch or mongrels, whatever you want to call them here. At this point, we only got like one, maybe two left. Veneer takes two punches. Keep fighting. Got a mongrel to take care of. And then Anthony, two punches and he's dead. You'll pay for that. Decide to head straight over to the bunker. Take them out. Easy enough. Praetorian Guard. Talk to House. By this point, we haven't killed Caesar, so we're sticking to our word. He tells us so what we gotta do. We head down. Target. Kill the robots. Try to loot all the ammo I can, since we're not really using much ammo, and we only have one gun we can use ammo for. Uh, it's always money in bank. You've really got to find a mod that just makes those pop-ups passive, because that, that's annoying. I get what they were trying to go through. I never expected people to play this game this much, but... Yeah, the pop-ups are kind of annoying. Deal with the Securitrons. Yeah, Securitrons. Protectrons. That's what they're called. I guess the Securitrons are supposed to be the updated second version of these things and then the assault trons are supposed to be like the uh, militaristic version of it it's all just strange y you figure the ones with rocket pods in the shoulders machine gun arms and grenade launcher arms would be the more militarized version of it while sure the assault trons have like a laser head and like blades that can come out of their arms and shit Your work here is done. you know a more you humanoid a form would probably work for uh like caregiving and whatnot. Make it easier just to get around. So go into Caesar's tent swinging. As you do. House told us not to kill him beforehand, so we didn't. So House wouldn't get mad at us. Never said anything about not dealing with him after the fact, so we're going to deal with him now. No, we're not doing the yes man run or anything like that. I just don't like Caesar. So, I'm going to deal with it now. Try to figure out how the dodge shit works. Guess there's no, like, repost or anything in it. I think I was thinking of Fallout 4 when I was trying to do that. Didn't work. Anyway, kill Caesar, loot everything we can, the head back to house. My on the strip are He's all happy that his robots are upgraded and he can do whatever. Now he sends us to go talk to the boomers. 
then I want to make sure out of that the, the boomers don't sign air base. similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR. Because he doesn't want their guns firing it for anyone but Give him. 20 years and I'll Why not? Ignite the high technology development sectors. 50 years and I'll have people in orbit. 100 years and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. So we head on out for him. Get jumped by the Legion. I'm still surprised at how fast you can shred through them. With just some spike knuckles. Make it through the bombardment. Talk to the uh, guy at the gate and Raquel. She has us go talk to Pearl. We do the whole song and dance here. I know Mother Pearl is letting you want. Talk to the medicine man here. He has us help some people here. Well, sure, it's not in character for President Camacho. Yes, outsider. I always level up my medicine skill because you get better stim pack usage out of it. Lives. So, you know, easy enough to do. Go in, start taking out the ants in the uh, power generator place. They say not to shoot them because, well, not to shoot them with laser weaponry because they explode. After that, we head to Helios, gather up all of the solar panels, and fix all the solar panels too for Lloyd. On my way out, I decide to shoot one of the warheads. I see the power's back on. Which I guess some of them could be explosively primed and whatnot like that. It's just I always figured they were inert for the most part. Well before they're armed to be fired, because that'd be fucking dangerous, right? Drop one of those things when you're trying to put it in, blow up the fucking howitzer. It's, it's probably not the best thing to happen. We attach the buoy things to the plane. Activate the thing. They're all happy about having their plane that they can fix up. No idea why they don't want the planes from the airport at McCarran. I mean, they could probably, like, mess around and make them into bombers. Anyway, we have to go deal with the Omertas now. Business is good. I just steal All the, the book off of, uh, what's his fuck here? Go and steal the blackmail letter from the office. Quickest way to deal with this quest. Well, Given the blackmail the on him, he gives us the hell? information we need, Dang. along with some thermite this charges. Which, by the by, thermite itself is not explosive, it just burns really fucking hot. Yeah. Uh, steal what we can from them, plant the thermite. Steal what we can, plant the thermite. Easy enough. Again, thermite, it will melt through this shit without too much of a problem. It just wouldn't be explosive. Like, maybe they have ammo and stuff in it too, which would go off. But there would, there would be no significant explosion like that, right? Thermite's used, for the most part, industrially, to weld railroad... I'm missing the word track together. Rails. That's what they're fucking called. <laughs> Rail road rails. To uh, weld the rails and well, stuff together. Uh, they won't be so it doesn't explode. Your next assignment is to locate also the thermite lance in the game Chandra here because the there is a thermite lance is different from how an actual thermite lance works in real life. An actual thermite lance is simply a steel pipe that you shoot pure oxygen through. Right? Because the pure oxygen will create an oxygen-rich environment. Well, an environment that's rich enough in oxygen. For the steel just to catch fire and burn if you get it hot enough. And that oxygen will continue to feed it to burn. So that you can use that liquid steel that's being blown out by the oxygen to cut through damn near anything. I've, uh, I've watched people cut apart big, like, uh, shore batteries. Not batteries in a sense as in charging, but batteries as in big ass gun emplacements watch people cut those apart with those things and while you burn through the metal fairly quickly it's real fucking easy to cut shit apart with it i feel like the thermite lance in game here is more along the lines of them thinking you could pack actual thermite into a small area and like shoot it out which that's that's not a thing Anyway, gloss over the entirety of destroying the Brotherhood. As you, can see, you know, not really much to be talked about there. Go and take the chip to the Dorito substation. Also, Everything not much to talk about order. there. 
And just come back the house. And at this point, we're the in the end game. Are on the march, establishing well, for the most part, houses quest line there is shorter because you don't need to meet all the families. So you don't need to go to Red Rock. You don't ready. need to Hoover do a bunch of other shit like Yes Man. I just find it quicker to do the Yes Man run for the most part. I don't know why. It could just be a placebo effect making your own choice in it instead of being told what to do. Even though Yes Man tells you what to do most of the time anyway. Start dealing with the Legion. Them and their assault carbines and Martian carbines just fucking wrong. I also don't understand why they have access to those types of firearms and the NCR doesn't. And instead use a semi-automatic version. Which, by the by, would be like an AR. Anyway, on the other side of the dam, I was waiting for Legion soldiers to come my way, and the bombers started flying by again? I don't know if this is a glitch or what. I mean, it's got to be a glitch, because I've never seen it before. That in the plane just fucking disappears, but... Yeah, no, that was... That was fucking weird. Also, all the Legion from this point on, along the bridge, only had one HP. Which was weird. So we head into the camp. Fist fight everybody, because why not? Since we can put a bunch of damage through blocks and guards, it's easy enough to deal with them. Go running up to the legate, keep spamming your attack, and he won't proc a conversation with you. He gets hurt and tries to run off like a bitch, so... We jump over the railing there and just vats him to death. Because fuck this guy. He's supposed to be the beast of the east or whatever the fuck they call him. And then as soon as he gets hurt, he starts running off. Take his dumbass helmet and put it on. Well, it's not really a dumb helmet. I do like the way his helmet looks. It is pretty cool. Start beating the hell out of the rest of the Legion here, his Praetorian Guard. Again, you probably want them with actual good weapons and shit. Could just be me, though. Chainsaws. Chainsaws are a dumbass weapon to try to use. Retribution. Like, sure, shock and all, intimidation, but come on now, you, you're having these people defend your camp. There's no shock and all at that point, right? If you were to run up on people in their camp in the middle of the night wielding a chainsaw, sure, I can understand it, but using people with a chainsaw to defend your camp, that's just kind of embarrassing. Stop for a while, bust out the machine gun to take out this veteran legionary up on the up on the hill. Gotta say the reloads are real nice. Switch over to some armor piercing. Wait for the uh, stagger to wear off. Take him out. Head toward the gate to get this over with. Heading there, there was a legionnaire by the gate that just got into got shunted somewhere. With that, we kind of got turned around here for a second. Eventually, it does let me move fully, and I want to see if I could just stay turned around. But you can't. Caesar on the cross. I talked to Oliver. Out enough that my he does his spiel. Doesn't want to give up the damn, so we fight him. And the Rangers and whatnot. After that, House does his whole thing of you being know, able to talk to us. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. He's happy at how Your well we did. Short of spectacular. Sad as if we, if, if he never need needs, a, if he ever needs our help again, we can, again, he knows I'll where to find us where and to all that shit. Back to Vegas, shall we? Like, don't get me wrong, for really New Vegas and whatnot, House is probably the best option. The right, he was a genius in his time, I can make sure and I do believe he would probably be able to fix on shit later on. Always bothered me. Which would be pretty cool. Um... The general's accident was unfortunate. Yeah, I just don't like siding with him here. Just like I don't really care for siding with the Institute in Fallout 4, even though they are the better of the options. In any case, Vegas might so, see a dip in revenue for a one year of things. or two, but eventually the tourists While it would be good in the long run, I don't think lore-wise in the game to keep the Vegas game environment the same, in the of the desert, uh, an oasis they of light, side with him, right? Beacon. Anything that's going to bring back the old the way, way the or stars. fix everything, this is just well, that the that's the end of Fallout at that point, right? So, this is where it could be why I don't like siding with them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, I guess. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.